Hey, what's up, fam? It's your boy Max back at it again with some piping hot tea from the world of 90 Day Fiancé. You know, this show just keeps on delivering the drama, season after season. And today, we're diving deep into the topic that has been on everyone's lips, toxic couples. Yep, that's right. Some of our beloved 90 Day Fiancé couples have been raising some serious concerns among fans. But before we dig into the juicy details, I just want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for tuning in. Your support means the world to me, and it's what keeps this channel going. So, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest gossip and updates. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're ready to dive into the scandalous world of 90 Day Fiancé. Alright, let's get into it. Now, we all know that 90 Day Fiancé is no stranger to drama. It's like a magnet for it. And while some couples on the show have managed to weather the storm and find their happily ever after, there are others who have left fans scratching their heads in disbelief. These couples have proven to be so toxic that their continued presence on the show has become a cause for concern rather than celebration. Let's take a closer look, shall we? 8th place Angela and Michael when fans first met Angela and Michael on season 2 of 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days, it quickly became apparent that the two had a rather turbulent relationship dynamic. For one, Georgia native Angela constantly accused Michael, who hails from Nigeria, of using her to obtain U.S. citizenship. The two went on to gain notoriety for their incredibly explosive fights and shocking reconciliations. Though Angela has been called out on multiple occasions for her crass antics and rather volatile temper, the two are still together. 7 place Eric and Leda Eric and Leda are among the most controversial 90 day fiancé couples of all time. The two have constantly found themselves facing backlash from the 90 day fiancé fandom, with Leda even being labeled one of the show's worst villains for her cruelty toward Eric's daughter Tasha. Tensions between the couple have been escalating for years, with Eric even having to physically restrain Leda after she threatened to commit suicide at one point. Despite these glaring red flags, the couple is still together. 6th place Kalani and Asulu Kalani and Asulu were responsible for some of the most disturbing moments on 90 Day Fiancé's sixth season, with the most downright bizarre being when Asulu started slapping himself and howling like a dog following a slight altercation with another couple. While much of the initial criticism seemed to center on Asulu, Kalani has been receiving heavy backlash in recent times, with fans accusing her of, among other things, constantly gaslighting her husband. 5th place Jenny and Sumit Jenny and Sumit's roller coaster relationship has fascinated fans since they appeared on 90 Day Fiancé's debut season. Apart from struggling with cultural differences, the two have displayed some rather problematic tendencies, leaving viewers to wonder why they fought so hard to remain together. Jenny is definitely messy, explosive, selfish a little, and borderline abusive with how quickly she escalates things, one Redditor recently said of the couple, but Sumit is also an extreme compulsive liar and has codependency issues with his devil of a mother. 4 place Corey and Evelyn Season 1 couple Corey and Evelyn have sparked fan outrage on multiple occasions, with season after season revealing more disturbing details about their dysfunctional relationship. The twosome's time on the franchise has been marred by unending controversy, including multiple cheating scandals and rumors that their entire relationship is fabricated. Despite facing one predicament after the other and seriously considering divorce on multiple occasions, the two are still together. 3 place Gino and Jasmine Gino Palazzolo and Jasmine Pineda's tumultuous love story started playing out on season 5 of 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days. Gino, who was still reeling from a previous abusive relationship, often found it difficult to control her jealousy and would get enraged by even the most trivial interactions between Gino and other women. On the other hand, Gino seemingly thrives on violating Jasmine's trust, going as far as sending nude photos of her to an ex-girlfriend at one point. Despite the endless drama, the two are still together. Two place Bilal and Sheeta. 
90 Day Fiancé newcomers Bilal Haziz and Sheeta Sween were responsible for some of the most controversial moments in Season 9. The two got off to a rocky start when Sheeta arrived to the U.S. and Bilal welcomed her with a poorly orchestrated prank designed to make her believe that he was financially destitute. Although finances continued to be a contentious issue in their marriage in the coming months, the two eventually tied the knot in Jackson County on December 7th and are still together. One Place Patrick and Thais Patrick and Thais are yet another problematic season 9 couple who shouldn't have made it down the aisle. Throughout their time on the show, the couple seemed to move from one explosive fight to the next, with Patrick seemingly intent on stifling Thais' independence by keeping their finances on a tight leash and Thais powerless to challenge him without her own income. Despite these unmistakable red flags, the couple is still together. Alright, my fellow reality TV aficionados, it's time for you to sound off in the comments below. What are your thoughts on these toxic couples? Should they break free from the toxicity and move on, or is there still hope for them to turn things around? I can't wait to read your opinions. And before we wrap up, I just want to remind you once again to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on all the tea I spill here. So, spread the word, share this video with your fellow 90 Day Fiancé fanatics, and let's keep this community growing. Thank you so much for joining me today and being a part of this amazing journey. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay tuned for more exciting updates, news, and gossip from the world of reality TV. This is Max, signing off. Catch you in the next one.